The Department of Finance, via the Accountant General's Office or Treasury Department, has launched a long-awaited initiative dubbed Micropayments Convenient Check Collection. Accountant General Matthew Branford said this initiative is set to directly impact the ease of doing business with the Treasury Department by decentralizing the collection of checks via its sub-offices in Sufre and Viewfort. So introducing micropayment convenient check collection in the South will transform the landscape for the Treasury Department and enhance the government payment services. Vendors who have provided services to the government will have three locations, Castries, Viewfort, and Sufre, where they can collect the check payment. Payment delays will be significantly reduced and in some instances eliminated, but will, more, will be more convenient for many people. Thus, beginning in December 2022, the Treasury Department will commence the printing of checks at the Sufre and Viewfort Subaccountant Office. The staff have already been trained and are ready to deliver on this promise as well as technical requirements are all in place for a smooth transition. Director of Finance Imran Williams highlighted that this initiative not only builds resilience within government's payment systems, but creates greater inclusion for the population. He also proposed a challenge to the Treasury Department. Most form of payments you deal with now, most can, is in the most advanced countries, and he did speak to it, uh, to his credit, we're now dealing with electronic funds transfer, direct deposit into bank accounts. So now we have to start thinking, while we already remove the risk in the system, we can even go a step further to make it a little more efficient. We can now try to encourage, let's not say force or mandate, encourage that most persons uh, that interact or do business with government, at the very minimum, have to enter the banking system by way of a credit union bank account. We now have Dcash coming and stream. We have uh, electronic wallets. Once you do that, you realize how you can, even when you have to get rid of, even now you can get rid of the printing of the checks and deal with your direct deposits. Minister for Commerce and Parliamentary Representative for Sufre, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, acknowledged the obvious direct benefit for her constituents and further stated that such initiatives are part of government's thrust to improve competitiveness and the ease of doing business in St. Lucia. We promise to remove the impediments to transacting business and we continue to deliver and will not stop until St. Lucia becomes the number one in the region for transacting business. Honorable Dr. Kenny D. Anthony, parliamentary representative for Viewfort South, though applauding the micropayments initiative, called for greater attention to be focused on the decentralization of government services to foster increased social inclusion and equity in the provision of government services. In a sense, this service here is long overdue. As much as I compliment the Treasury Department and Accountant General's Office, and I congratulate them, let's face an inconvenient truth. It's a long overdue. It should have happened a long time ago. But you know what? Sometimes, as the Accountant General indicated, change is difficult and complicated. And we create artificial barriers as to why we should not do things, why we should not make a difference, or why we should not change things. It really requires a fundamental change in the mindset of those who manage our affairs and those who manage our businesses. Those who manage the delivery of services emanating from the government. Also endorsing the initiative was Parliamentary Representative for Schwerzel Saltibus, Honorable Bradley Felix, and Cyprian Lantico, representing Honorable Wayne Girard, Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary, Canaries. The micropayment convenient check collection will commence on December 1st at the Sufra sub office and on December 8th at the sub office in Viewfort. Checks valued at $50,000 and below can be printed on demand at these sub offices. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.